It is the 1st of December and I am feeling super festive. I'm in this stunning gown by Needle and Thread. I actually wasn't planning on filming today and I just got ready and I thought, I can't waste this. I've just been getting ready for so long and I need to start vlogging. It's also the 1st of December, which technically means it's the 1st of Vlogmas. So I might try and just film even little clips every single day of December and put them into these weekly vlogs that you seem to be enjoying, so thank you so much for watching. And so I am here at the Four Seasons in Hampshire, and I'm a guest of Needle and Thread, which is the brand of this stunning dress. I'm going to show you a full outfit look in a minute. And we're here for a beautiful Christmas party to get into the spirit of Christmas, and we're having a nice dinner, so I'm actually running late. So I'm going to show you a real quick outfit, um, little shot, and then I'm going to run. I've also just had my makeup done by the amazing Bobby Brown team. We have gone super, super glam with this stunning uh, smoky eye with some shimmer in there as it is Christmas, some little lash extensions on the end, which I can never do myself, by the way. I was asking for tips. They've inspired me to give it a go, so we'll see see how that goes. I'm going to have to go and buy, buy some next time I'm in boots or something. Um, but I'm going to give you a little outfit shot. Where can I put my camera? I actually feel like a princess about to go to a ball. <laughs> how magical is this dress? I don't normally wear gowns or, or even red, but I am loving this. this is definitely the grandest Christmas tree I've seen this year so far. It is the great day of Christmas tree picking! Woo! I think this tree. You think that one? Oh wow, I look half asleep. Um, yeah, probably not the state of mind to be in trying to pick a Christmas tree. I'm surrounded by them right now. I think I can hear Daisy May. I think she's found a good one. It smells so good in here. Oh my god. Right, time for a bit of yoga. I haven't been here in a while. I wonder if you recognise this from lockdown. I am back in Sussex at my parents' house. And when did I come here? Last night after the event. And this morning we got up and went and bought the Christmas tree. And then I am now in this area that I used to spend most of lockdown in. It's like in my parents' garden, basically. And I am going to start a three day program on how to ease anxiety. Now, this is a program that I have started and created with one of my dear friends, Sophie Deer, in Bali. And I have never, as you know, like created any kind of workshop or online course. And it's something that I am so interested in because I've done a lot of courses myself. I love always learning and essentially learning ways to better myself and learn more about myself and add to these life tools and skills that I think are so important for us to have to just do life well. <laughs> and it just feels like now is the best time to launch it. And as you know, I have never created any kind of online course or workshop. And I just wanted to join forces with someone that I had a lot of trust in. And Sophie is a brilliant yoga instructor. And she actually already has lots of courses online for various different areas. But together we were like, let's create a beautiful, 
short course, it's only three days to help people ease anxiety because I feel like whether you especially struggle with anxiety or if you're just busy and going about life because life is stressful right now, right? We feel like this is going to help you. I feel like this is the exact kind of course that I love because I feel like anyone could get anything from it. And for me, I can definitely feel overwhelmed. I can feel stressed. Sometimes I just want to hit pause on the world and just take a breath. And this is exactly the kind of guidance that I feel like I need in those moments. And hopefully it's going to really help you too. Also, it's only 30 pounds, which is 10 pounds a day. So it's literally cheaper than like, a normal yoga class or exercise class and you get so much in there so you get three yoga classes three guided meditations three workshop journal sessions and then three talks from Sophie and I about this particular topic so I feel like it's an absolute bargain because we put so much work and effort into this so yeah it feels like the perfect time as well because leading up to Christmas is so exciting but it's very busy and can be very stressful and very taxing. There's a lot going on in the world outside of, you know, this current time of Christmas and everything. There's just, it feels like now is quite a heavy time. So we just wanted to really guide you through it and hopefully bring a bit of peace and comfort. I'm going to start it today. I'm doing it myself. So today is day one. I'm going to do it in three consecutive days. So tomorrow as well in this space and then Monday too because today is Saturday so yeah three consecutive days to help ease anxiety I'm going to show you the course okay so this is on moveandinspire.co.uk three days to ease anxiety I've also just realized I am wearing the same leggings right now that's awkward so this is my beautiful friend Sophie and she is the one who guides us through the meditations and the yoga and in the videos you'll see me doing both the yoga and the meditation. So down here's a bit of a description. So this is for you if you struggle with worry and anxiety, feel overwhelmed, exhausted and you don't know how to settle the inner critic but what you'll gain from this is an understanding of how to ease your anxiety through self-awareness, kindness and compassion and creating a different energy. And it tells you everything that's included here. And then here you can see it's £30. It's actually normally £40, but we have a discount for £30 at the moment. So that's £10 a day. And then over here is where you can sign up for the course. And once you're through, you can see that I'm signed up to the Three Days to Ease Anxiety course. There's a little intro video here just describing what it's all about. And then down here, day one, we have our conversation. Now, I don't know if I'm going to actually watch my conversation on finding awareness. I find it really awkward watching myself back, which I know sounds weird because I'm a YouTuber and it's literally what I do. I create videos, I edit them myself, I upload myself. I can't watch my videos back. Like, I just find it really cringe. It's seven minutes. <laughs> I might watch it, I might not. But what I am going to do for sure is the yoga flow. So this is the yoga flow one and it's 25 minutes and it's perfect for all levels of yoga. And then we have finding awareness, meditation, and then finally the confidence journaling. Hi everyone, welcome to day one, finding awareness. We're going to be approaching anxiety and how to ease anxiety. Very okay, well. you get a gist of the video. I'm now going to go back and do the yoga. Hi everyone, welcome to day one. We're gonna start Yay. on all fours. Hey guys, it's making me emotional because I'm missing Bali. We filmed this at Sophie's villa in the garden and it was so peaceful and beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to start yoga. This is the first like proper yoga that I've done since I had surgery on my wrist. I don't know if you can see that little scar creeping out my sleeve. Um, but I've been easing myself into the gym and I've been stretching a lot, so I think I'm ready. I'm excited for this. 25 minutes of yoga flow, I think it's going to be 
perfect way to start. It is freezing in here. There hasn't been heating this winter yet, so you can imagine how cold it is. Also, I'm going to film me doing some yoga. If you see a strange man walking around in big wellies and a hat on, it's my stepfather. So don't get scared that there's a stranger walking around the garden. As intuitive and creative as you want it to be, so feel free to kind of add in additional movements. You're swaying the hips and the shoulders and sway from side to side. And release the back of the neck, so just give your head a little nod. Good, exhale, big step in between the hands and just help the foot there if you need to. Lower the back knee and inhale, low lunge, so originally arms up. Lower down, your choice, take your time to lower. Yeah, nice and strong. Inhale, that cobra or up dog to lift. It's quite incredible how 25 minutes of yoga can just completely change your mood, make you feel more calm. I feel like, yeah, even 25 minutes ago before the yoga, I was just feeling a little restless, maybe a bit too energetic. Whereas after that, I feel so peaceful, really peaceful. And so... I think I'm ready now for meditation. Yoga is a really lovely practice to lead you and guide you into a stronger meditation. So yeah, if you have time, it's always really lovely to start with the yoga, end with the shavasana, and then that leads you perfectly into your meditation practice. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I feel really good I feel like I'm in the right mindset to meditate it doesn't feel forced and you'll see right down here it can click you straight through to the meditation practice so there we go well, I don't look too happy there do I <laughs> and then just simply start to notice your breath ah oh, it almost feels like waking up from a little nap when you meditate that was lovely really lovely guided meditation. I actually haven't done a guided meditation for a while. I got into the habit of just med meditating in silence on my own, but I haven't done that in a while. So I think to get back into it, it's really useful to have someone guiding you through it. And Sophie did a brilliant job. So yeah, really enjoyed that. Although on a personal level, I must admit, I, I definitely noticed the difference when I haven't been meditating for a while I definitely find it harder to relax and switch off I feel like there are so many thoughts coming to me that I have to it sounds so counterproductive but I have to work harder to just let them all go and relax into the meditation whereas when it's part of my daily practice it definitely comes a lot more easily um so that's just quite interesting for me to observe in myself. So I'm looking forward to doing this for the next couple of days, tomorrow and Monday. And then I'm intrigued to see how I find the meditation at the end of the three days, because this is all about easing anxiety. I wonder if my mind is able to switch off, um, yeah, after the three days. So I'm intrigued to see how that goes. So I wasn't planning on doing this now, but because I'm in this, like very calm serene mindset i'm going to go straight into the journaling and today it's confidence journaling so day one confidence journaling you can print these off um which is advised because you can like fill in each of the gaps or what i'm going to do is just use my journal here we go so i have my journal here and i'm going to use this as like a guide to follow so this is lovely, daily wins. This is something that Sophie taught me actually in Bali. Every day we would go through our daily wins. So I love, love, love that it's in our little workshop here. And yeah, this is probably really nice to do actually in the evening, to be honest. But because I, like I said, I, I feel like I'm in the mood for a bit of journaling. So I'm going to do all of these all in one. journaling done. I feel this new sense of gratitude for my life and those in my life and this confidence brewing within me. That journaling was really lovely. Again, I don't normally do like guided 
journaling, I do it just like free writing, I suppose. But to have those prompts, it enabled me to, to journal in a very different way. It made me think outside the box slightly and really consider what it is in my life that I'm grateful for, what I'm proud of, what my wins are, uh, goals that I've achieved, and then setting goals for the future. So I really liked that. It's a totally new experience for me doing a course that I have created with someone. Normally the courses that I like to do are like, yeah, someone else has set them. So it's really surreal actually having thought this through so consciously with my friend as well. It's not like it's just a work colleague, like Sophie's a really good friend. To pull this together, together is, is lovely, really, really lovely. I feel really proud and just so looking forward to hearing the feedback. This has only just gone live and this is the first time I'm talking about it at all. So you guys on here are literally the first to hear about my course. So I'm looking forward to hearing what you think, how you get on with it, uh, if you notice a positive impact at the end of the three days. And um, yeah, feedback is absolutely welcome because if this goes well, who knows where this could lead. I would love to start creating more courses and workshops around all of the things that I'm very passionate about and areas of life that have completely changed my life that I would love to share. So yeah, I'm excited to hear what you think. crazy, playing horses, running around the house, running as fast as we can, finding a secret den and just generally like being a big kid and loving life. But now yeah it's 1.30 so I am going to get started with the course. So the talk today is on finding kindness and compassion and I remember this conversation with Sophie back in Bali like we filmed this all there like I said yesterday and I remember like after the conversations just both of us being like this is such a useful conversation to have and for not only all of the people that are hopefully going to sign up for the course but for like us together as friends to just basically sit there and and speak about how kindness and compassion has impacted our life by introducing that and being more conscious in that regard so yeah I'm looking forward to you <laughs> listening to the talk and then I I say that because I I didn't listen to yesterday's talk again I just feel like I've had the conversation I don't know if I need to listen to it back so I'm going to dive straight in with the yoga flow number two and this one is 27 minutes like I said like the yoga is more about finding peace serenity calming the mind uh, because after all this whole course is about easing anxiety so just finding a little bit more peace in your life so it's not any like crazy yoga style or mad poses it's um it's more like relaxing and calming and i definitely noticed that after yesterday's yoga so i'm looking forward to this one then we have the kindness and compassion meditation followed by more journaling prompts and this is around core values I've actually done this journaling already, but I think I'm going to do it again because I remember it being so helpful last time. So, I'm going to go straight in with the yoga flow number two. Just reach the left arm up and over towards the foot. 
So you're getting a really good stretch down the side of the body. Squeezing the bum, and then you're going to reach, yeah, reach the top arm towards the back. You can kind of lift up, reaching that left arm also to the front. Good, yeah, fantastic. Good, one more big breath in. And then exhale, slowly release. So come to sit first. Allow your hands to rest in your lap with the palms facing upwards. I've just downloaded the day two core values journaling. I just feel these prompts are so useful. Like when have you felt the most frustrated, annoyed, empty and unfulfilled? This is so important to actually recognize those things and then on the other side, what activities put you in your flow state? So what, what's really serving you, I suppose? And I just think it's a bit like practicing gratitude to actually acknowledge the things that make us feel good. And when you actually figure out those, those specific things, you know, to welcome them into your life. Oh, I feel so good. I think I needed, I needed a bit of zen in my life. Ooh. I needed a bit of zen in my life after just acting crazy um, so that was really lovely to just sit still for a moment do my yoga meditate like I said I, I have really got out of practice of meditating so sometimes I think we need this kickstart back into action you know back into our routines that we know serve us so well so yeah this three-day course is actually coming at a perfect time for me personally. So I love that I'm actually doing this and experiencing it um, myself. I also think it's so important to actually go a bit crazy and have fun and act like a kid, release that inner child that is crying to come out. And for me, it's something I've only realized since having Daisy May in my life, my sister who's only eight years old. And I think it really is all down to her that I've been able to release my inner child because I really do act like a little kid with her. I mean, I'm her sister at the end of the day and there are 23 years between us. And I just think it's really important for like her as well to have a sister that she can mess around with and have fun. But also for me, selfishly, I love it. Like I genuinely love just acting like her sister and just acting like a kid. I have so much fun. We actually just had a really lovely moment in her bedroom in this little secret area where we hide away. I told her that the secret to life is to always have fun and never forget it even when you become an adult because I think too many adults forget to have fun. We feel like we have to be so serious and well behaved all the time. And I get it because we get so caught up in other priorities of life, right? Life is stressful. But to always remember when you grow up that you can still have fun. You can still let your hair down. You can still be a kid. You can still run around the house like crazy. Um, and I really hope that she always remembers that because it's something that I, I think I forgot. And I had to learn how to have fun again. And that was actually all thanks to her. I mean, I'm telling her the secret of life is to have fun, but really she's the one that taught me that. And she'll realise that one day. I realised I completely forgot to show the finished Christmas tree last night. We have all agreed that this is the best Christmas tree we've ever had. It is like the perfect shape and really full. Yeah, there you go, me talking all technical about Christmas trees like I know what I'm talking about. We are so so happy with it. I have also been super organized this year and I've wrapped my presents already. Well some of them. I'm actually going to be in Dublin for Christmas this year so that's why I've had to be organized and wrap my family's presents, leave them under the tree um, because I'm not going to be home before Christmas now. So they're all coming to London, we're hosting them at our house on the 22nd and the 23rd and then we're off to Dublin. <laughs> Ooh, salted caramel. 
Okay, so the Fashion Awards are literally tonight and I don't have anything to wear yet. So I am at my dressing appointment and just trying to find something to wear. It's a really weird feeling knowing that the event is tonight and I literally don't know what I'm wearing. Strangely, I've actually figured out the shoes and the jewellery already, um, which is going like backwards. So I'm just trying to find the dress. So welcome to the wardrobe. <laughs> I'm just going to dig through some of these things, see what I can find. I have my dress. I'm so, so happy. I had no idea what I would find. So yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I very briefly explained just now what I was up to tonight, but I felt like it was really hard to talk in there because there was a lot going on. I am going to the Fashion Awards tonight, which is one of my favourite events of the year in London. And it's a very glamorous night, as I'm sure you can imagine. I feel like I must have vlogged this before in previous years because I've been quite a few times. Um, and I haven't been in a couple of years though because obviously with Covid and then I think I was away last year. Was I in Bali? I was somewhere last year, I can't remember. So this is my first time back at the Fashion Awards in a long time. And this year I am a guest of Threads which is a beautiful online personalised private like shopping, personal shopping experience online where they have a lot of beautiful designer uh, brands. So they have kindly invited me to be their guest tonight, which I accepted. So I came back last night. I went for a really nice run actually this morning. It was quite sunny and on these winter sunny mornings, I love the runs around Hyde Park. So I did about a seven and a half kilometre run, but I, really went for it, I was sprinting. I knew I was short for time because I had my dressing appointment this morning. So I was literally going for it. And interestingly, I noticed that today I listened to really upbeat, fast, kind of like dance music. And that just made me go so much faster as well. So that's really interesting. And I was thinking, I wonder if any studies have been done on like the impact that the music that you listen to on your runs, how much faster it makes you go, um, because I definitely felt it this morning. Anyway, went off on a tangent. I um, yeah went on a run, literally came back, made the quickest breakfast ever, ran out the door, literally looking like this, no makeup, I've only done my skincare, I put some Smart Skin Super C moisturiser on. Um, after cleansing my skin because I just want it to be super clear and glowy for tonight. So when I know that I'm having my makeup done in the evening, I very rarely would wear makeup during the day because it's just going to come off anyway. But I like just having a very, very clear blank canvas. So went straight to Piccadilly uh, and went to Purple PR where they have this incredible showroom. I didn't really get to show all of it because there was a lot going on. Because this is like the biggest event in London for fashion in the whole year, it was kind of like crazy lots going on. There were people having hair and makeup done already. Um, just lots of people going in for dressing appointments like I was. So I had like a corner where they'd picked a couple of dresses for me to pick from. And at first I was like, oh my God, this is actually quite stressful, like the events tonight and I have no idea what I'm wearing and I've already picked my jewellery and shoes. And at first looking at the rail, I was like, I don't think I'm going to like any of this stuff. But then I think the first dress I tried on was the navy one and I was like, yep, that's the one. <laughs> but then I tried on the others and they didn't like match up like compared to the first one. I did go and have another look around the showroom just to double check, like that is so my personality, like I need to know all my options. Even if like the first one I love, I'm like, I need to see just to double check, you know, what if like the, there's an even better one out there, which is really not the best mindset. I think it's better to be more decisive and be like, yep, I like it, this fits, this is one, goodbye. Um, but I had a little look around. Oh, Jamie's done the calls. And yeah, so I've got the dress. 
and I'm just waiting now for the shoes and the jewellery to be delivered. I'm so excited you to see the jewellery. It's incredible. Hands down, it's going to be the most like beautiful uh, quality jewellery that I have ever worn. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm leaving in about an hour for makeup and hair. Perfect timing. It has just arrived. This is by Kiki. And this is a luxury jewellery brand. I'm actually quite nervous to be wearing this because I know it's very, very special. They are absolutely stunning. Wow. Ooh, I almost don't want to spoil it though before the dress. Okay, so this is the ring. Wow. Oh my goodness. I am going to guard these with my life tonight like if anyone so much as looks at me <laughs> i'm going to call the police all right it is day three of the three-day course on how to ease anxiety i must say i am feeling so calm like these last couple of days not only calm though it goes beyond that i feel really happy i feel really light I've been journaling a lot more than I usually would outside of the guides um, of journaling in the course, which I think is a really good sign that even though there's actually so many prompts and there's so many questions, it encourages a massive amount of reflection. It's actually encouraging me to go beyond that and continue journaling in the evenings. And so I'm really enjoying that. And yeah, so it's day three, the last day. So I've actually got the laptop up behind you. I will show you in a second. So day three is about finding a new energy because the first day is obviously more reflective and actually finding awareness. So that kickstart into looking inwards and just considering what's going on. And then the second day is all about finding compassion and kindness. So actually, after the reflective period, how do we put all of this into action and make use of the reflective energy that we've done on the first day? And then day three is the most exciting day, I think, because it is about finding a new energy. So let's put all of our learnings from the first two days of finding awareness, finding kindness and compassion, and actually put it into action, into our daily lives, and how do we integrate that into our lives? And we speak about this in our video. So the video is called Finding a New Energy. Then we've got the yoga flow, which I'm about to do. And then of course, the meditation. Oh, the doorbell is going nonstop today. Um, so yeah, the final aspect of the course is the journaling and it's around gaining clarity because of course, with all of the learnings that we've had over the past three days, it can be quite a lot to absorb. So this final journaling session is just around gaining clarity on everything that we have learned. And I think often when we're taking in so much information, it can feel quite overwhelming and you just, it can go quite easily from your mind. Whereas finishing with this journaling session will hopefully just cement it in our minds and we'll be able to take all of these learnings and teachings with us going forward. Okay, so we've completed day one, completed day two, and now down to day three, and I'm going to go straight to the yoga. Hi everyone, welcome back. So today, day three, we're gonna start in downward facing dog. Good, extra step in between the hands, lower that right knee, and take an inhale to your low lunge. So we're pressing through the feet, the arms are strong. Good, just notice the wobbles. Foot comes down, hands come down, and we step back to a downward facing dog. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna twist over to the left. So right elbow wraps round, open through the chest, almost like you're leaning back behind you. Just your natural, organic, rhythmic breath that comes in and out of the body. And as you're noticing the breath, take a moment to check in and see how you are feeling right now. And that rounds up the three days to ease anxiety. I also just realized, which kind of made me giggle, I'm the first person to do this course and I created it. 
<laughs> with Sophie. I don't know if Sophie's actually done the course herself as well. I'll have to ask her. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to you guys trying it out too. As I said, you're going to be the first to have access to this. So I'll leave the link in the description down below. And for a limited time only, it's £30. So that works out at £10 a day, which I think considering the amount of content that's in there, I think it's a bargain. So I think this time of year as well is when we, we really need it and crave a bit of calm in our lives. For me as well, especially, I can get quite nervous about these events, like as exciting and glamorous and fun as they are, it is quite nerve wracking, you know, like turning up on your own, going to an event where you don't know who you're going to be with. I don't know if I've met anyone that will be there tonight. So it is, there is something quite nerve wracking, kind of being all dressed up and like turning up to an event on your own. And it is such a big event as well. It's at the Royal Albert Hall, so it's the full red carpet vibe, um, which I haven't done in a while. And again, I'm feeling like, yeah, this morning bubbling anxiety in me because I was like, I haven't done this in so long. But I think having done this yoga this morning and the meditation and I'm about to do the journaling, I'm feeling more excited about it but also just very calm very relaxed just like oh this will be nice um and I'm not feeling that nervousness so that's really interesting to to notice and recognize a change in feeling so if you do take part in this course maybe this is a good idea actually I wish I'd done this get a notepad and just journal very, very quickly, briefly. It doesn't need to be anything too long. It doesn't need to be an essay. Just how you're feeling right now. Like any, is there any bubbling anxiety or anger or stress or frustration, confusion, any of those kind of emotions. And then I think it will be really interesting after the three days, once you've done like the full course and all of the journaling prompts that are in there, to go back to that page, read it over and compare how you're feeling now. And maybe just write underneath like the feelings that are coming up for you now like maybe you're feeling relaxed calm excited maybe you have a new sense of self-awareness confidence um feeling a new energy so that that's like the purpose of the course so i think it would be really interesting to compare notes pre and post course so yeah let me know how you get on i really hope you enjoy it and I think I need to get going in like 10 minutes. I'm literally gonna go like this. I'm just gonna put a jumper over the top um, because I'm not going to turn up in my dress at 2 p.m. to have hair and makeup done. So I'll take my dress with me and the beautiful jewels. And then, yeah, I just want to be super comfy and cozy while I have all the glam work done and all of that. Um, and then I think we're meeting at like five for photos. It's quite an early night. We need to leave at 6 p.m. And then I think the award ceremony starts at 7 p.m. And then I think it goes on until about 10. And then there's an after party. So it's a long day. I'm glad I slept well last night because otherwise I'd be yawning my way through it. I also realised, I don't think I said where my dress is from. It's from a beautiful designer called Azzy and Oster. I'm just going to show you the label, Azzy and Oster. And it's my first time wearing this brand. I have never worn their beautiful gowns before, so it feels very special. I feel very lucky to, to be experiencing this. I'm very aware that my lifestyle right now is incredible and it's not going to last forever. And while I still get the invitations, you know, to the fashion awards and people want to dress me and send me their beautiful jewels and have me as their guest at an incredible event like this, I feel, I feel honoured to have even been acknowledged and be thought of and it really means a lot. And yeah, like I say, I think I just really need to make the most of these years, you know? That sounds quite negative, like I feel like it's all going to end, but I think, so something my grandma has always told me is the secret to life is to know it's good when it's good. And 
life is good right now. So I think I just like taking these moments of gratitude to just think, I'm so lucky, I'm so fortunate, what a life. This is incredible. One day, when I am like 60 years old, I'm going to look back on this and think, wow, that was an incredible phase. But I also know that I'll look back and know that I didn't take it for granted because I'll remember these moments of gratitude and just think, yeah, I knew, I knew I was lucky at the time, which I think is so important for us because how sad would that be to, to grow older and look back on a life that was so beautiful and think, I didn't realise how good I had it or I didn't realise how lucky I was or how fortunate I was to have loved ones around me or to have beautiful friends or to have a beautiful home and all of these little things that I think are, are so important. I think, yeah, we need to just sometimes take a moment and just acknowledge it all and feel grateful. Also, I'm just going to give a shout out to my friend Rosanna, who has recently moved to India, and I know that she's watching my videos, and I know that she's feeling this sense of gratitude for her incredible adventure that she's on right now, so, hi Rosanna, I love you, and I miss you. So first things first, makeup, and the lovely Philippa is doing my makeup today. Has a great oh. art primer, but they're not cruelty free, so if you're clean, it's... I used uh, to have that, yeah. Yeah. And you would take that up to the brow almost? Yeah, you can do, really lightly. Yeah, you still got some bronze to your, I wouldn't say you were really pale. Really? Oh, I feel pale. Thank you. <laughs> it's just the undertone. Yeah. Have you faked hands at all? No. Okay. No, I haven't faked hands in ages. Mm. So makeup is all ready and hair. I can't decide whether to have these two little bits down just to have a bit of shape or to have them tucked back again. What do you think? Oh, I can't decide. I kind of like this side more than this side. Oh, maybe one. <laughs> And I am now in the Threads styling suite and I have my dress, which is huge. It's literally taking up the whole room. Look at these beautiful bags, absolutely stunning. Uh, and I've got my accessories down here. So I have these long gloves, still undecided if I'm going to wear them. These beautiful shoes by Domino and then some jewelry by Kiki that you've already seen. Okay, so you can see the shoes here from a better angle. Look at those heels. I love the attention to detail. And then here, the beautiful jewels. And I've decided I am going to wear the gloves and just wear the ring over the top. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you can see me or hear me, but I have done the red carpet. I got my pics. Sorry, baby, you're trying to three. I got my pics and I was so cold. But now it's time to enjoy the fashion walls. This award is for a designer here in the UK whose independent business is a vanguard of creativity and innovation. The one and only Naomi Campbell. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's so nice to be back home. This year, we celebrated the life of Her Majesty the Queen. And we thought this would be the perfect moment to pay our respects. She was the longest serving monarch and queen in history. 